What were you going to say? <laughs> I think it's the juxtaposition. This is supposed to be a very child-friendly place. And you put something so childish up against something so demented, it becomes demented. No, but no, I get that. It's just that, like, why that song? Like, I understand why the toy box in, in general is like, yeah, anything done in a jukebox or a toy box sort of song, it, it's it's creepy anyway. But why that song in particular? Isn't that like, that's from, ah, uh, I always it's forget from, the name. It's from a symphony. I know that for sure. It's... Uh, I keep forgetting the name. Torridor? Torridor? A honky. Anyway, Do um... <laughs> Do that funky, man. A honky, 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 honky. It, it, if I can recall, it's from a, um... It's from a play. I think it's a Spanish play. I'm not sure. Okay, they're all out. Just to check. Olga, Helga, I don't remember what... Hey there! Well, that was... Bobby, just, Bobby just did a beeline for the office. How great. Uh, dude, I'm serious. Stop using the lights that, that much. <laughs> I have to. You... Yeah. I had never seen that It's Me before. Oh, way. Huh. Because I gotta keep up if I don't catch them in time. I feel like... Oh, wait, I'm getting a call. Hold on. Oh, all right. Hello? No, I'm at home. Oh, yeah. Ah! yeah. What? I was playing something. Sorry. <laughs> he still doesn't know I'm recording this. He's away right now because he got a phone call. I can't wait to know what his reaction will be when I upload this. I hope you guys are enjoying the riveting commentary, by the way. I'm trying my best, but... If you are laughing your butt off, I hate you right now. <laughs> I am not. No, dude, I understand. You got a call. You got, you know, whatever. <laughs> Actually, when you do mention it, it is kind of funny. It's just like you screwed it. Your mom was like, what What happened? <laughs> Damn it, Bonnie. <laughs> I feel like I need to get to know your family more. I don't know. You do? You need to get to know my family more? I don't know. I feel like I do. All I know is your little brother. And that one time your dad sent me a message on Skype saying who wanted to drink some booze. <laughs> when I was like 14 or something. Yeah, my father's like that. He'll joke about it, but he would never do that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, because I remember like I got that message on Skype and I was just like, uh, Eugene? Because <laughs> uh. I, know, I know you're not like that. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you just explain, like, oh, sorry, that was my dad. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that actually explains a lot. <laughs> to re don't spit on the floor. Please use the cuspidor. That's what it's for. I'm serious, dude. Using the lights that often is going to screw you over. I know, but I got to, because if I don't catch them in time, I look at my cameras... Bonnie or Cheat are going to come up and scream in my face. You can... Is it, like, ever... I don't know. Is there something on the internet that... That tells you, like, what wastes the most power? I'll look that up. Why don't we look that up? It's uh, interesting. I don't want to play it. I don't how, play how, are you, how are you still scared? How do you know I'm not acting? I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. I know when you're genuinely scared. Don't use the light yet. I didn't use it. I'm just getting the camera situated on Foxy. Right. Oh, yeah. Um. What I was going to say earlier was that... I, f I kind of feel like... Five Nights at Freddy's kind of suffers the same thing Slender did. It got too popular? Not just that, but it became so mainstream that a lot of people... Like, you just kind of become immune to, to how scary it is. Well, I think after a while it becomes... I don't know. It doesn't be... It, do, it isn't no longer scary. It's only really scary because... No, 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 no. I've never seen that happen before.
I'm just gonna oh, kick the camera. Sc- you're screwed. Ah! He can't take the camera down. He can't do that. Yeah, he can. He can't take the camera down. He can't make me take it down. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought can. there was. I thought there there was a way. There was a way you could keep the camera up if they're if they're there and pray to God that it turns five. <laughs> I mean six. What? No, no. I didn't like to. Why would that be a thing? That would make it too easy. And that's the one thing that's good about this game. It 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 keeps its paranoia up, thus making it scary. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess you could really compare Five Nights at Freddy's to Slender in a lot of ways, which is, I think, why it's so popular. I mean, it, it is a very innovative way. I mean, if we're getting analytical about a horror game, I don't know. I just really like commenting over it. But um, what I really do think that it has, like, it's it's very different from Slender, but at the same time, when you think about it, they're really similar. Because something I really did like was the way, like the gameplay style. It's very innovative. You, it's not free roam, like hide from them. It's like no, you're you're the one there. They're coming to you. You just have to defend yourself. You're that, delaying. You delay the inevitable. Basically, but you know, um, it, it's it's a different sense of horror because it's not like you have to get to a certain place like in most horror games you have to stay in one single place and let them come to you and just fend them off, I guess, for the entire night. And that's the real objective of the game. It's like how, how much you can strategize to to not lose power until you get to 6 a.m. Which, I, I don't know if that's ever been done before, if that concept has been used before, but it's really interesting. Yes. But the reason I say it's like really similar to Slender is because you like they both use the same sort of um, they kind of both use the same ways to get you scared. If that makes any sense. Yeah. They use your your paranoia and they use your you know I guess the anxiety that it sort of inflicts in you <laughs> to to always be checking the doors, looking left and right. Getting in a kind of schizophrenic mood. Good, he's gone. Wait, why did I close that? I don't know. I know it's not based on real time because that would be horrible. But how long is it between each hour? I'm, I want to know that. That's a good question. I'm pretty sure it's like just about. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> I won't lie, that actually kind of got me too. Just because of how, like, Foxy gets you without forewarning, either. Objective sounds. <laughs> sounds. I can assure you, if, if I, now that I know that, if I were to ever play the game, <laughs> I would just be doing that, like, the entire time. <laughs> Not even caring about the doors or anything, it's just... <laughs> Don't you dum da dum 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 me? Do you think the Pirate Cove was in any way inspired by Candle Cove? You never know in these indie games that or indie games. You never know what inspiration they take from. And another thing that, like, I guess a, a lot of these horror games have going for them are the jump scare value. Because really, that's the only thing that's, that happens in like Slender in this game. Like the screams and all that really come from the shock, shock factor. Yeah. But I mean, it does build up because you you do know that you can strategize and you can you know you can be on the lookout for them, but that doesn't really help. <laughs> Because ultimately, you have to be paying attention to every single little thing you're doing in both games. So technically, like it, it does have one of those things where it's like technically, it's not even your fault if you lose. It's all luck. It, that that's that is something else too. It's like you can strategize, but sometimes it just it comes down to luck as well. Just like Markiplier when he was doing the 2020 challenge, which I still can't like. I can't believe he beat that. Someone else beat it beforehand, and they detailed the strategy. 
Yeah, and like when he detailed the strategy, it was like I thought that was obvious. <laughs> it's like, oh, I I have to do this, I have to do that. I'm like, um, really? That didn't come as common sense. It's like, just I don't have to check anywhere else except Pirate Cove. It's like, yeah, there's no. Oh, there's, oh shoot. There's no. He's at my door. There's no real reason you should check anywhere except Pirate Cove because, like I said, they appear, and you have good enough time to close the door before they actually get you. Freddy's right outside. Just right outside my door. Freddy. Why are you outside my door? You can still see them even if if you don't turn on the light, right? No. You can't? No, you can't see them without the lights. Oh, okay. Oh well, there goes there goes my theory because I that's that's why I was like you should never really turn on the light it it doesn't matter but no apparently it does. Okay. Yeah. Oh shoot! 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 Foxy, I... you ain't getting me. Huh. All right. Up, up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful motorboat. No, no, Chica, please! Ow. Hi, Chica. You know that sentence out of context, it sounds like I'm saying, hey, girl. Yeah. Hey, Chica. Hey, Chica. Oh, and ironic what people have been doing with her. <laughs> 